Hello students, as we have discussed last in our class, photohormones and we have done with auxin and cytokine. Today we will study a next phytohormone that is gibberellin. In short we can write GA. GA are plant hormone. First we will talk about discovery. This was discovered by Yabuta and Samut. They have discussed this gibberellin in a disease in rice in Japan. And the disease is known as Akani disease or foolish seedling disease. This is called foolish seedling disease because, because there is a very high vegetative vegetative growth in the plant. No seed and fruit formation only the length of the plant increases. This disease was due to the main causative for the disease is fungus. That fungus is known as Gibri, Gibrilla fusicori. From this we have isolated the this fungus secretes gibberellic acid. As if we study the chemical nature of gibberellic acid, gibberellines, gibberellines are tetracyclic diterpenes acids. That means they are acidic in nature. They are named GA1 in order of their discovery. Gibralic acid. First, gibralic acid is the first gibberelline structurally characterized GA3. Now we will discuss, this is all about the chemical nature of the gibberine. Now we will discuss the function, functions of gibberellic acid. What function it performs in the plant. First, it, the prime most function of GA is it stimulates stem elongation. by stimulating cell division. Next function is it breaks seed dormancy. As we all know dormancy dormancy is nothing but dormancy is nothing but only the seed is not able to grow that is sleeping stage of the See, so it breaks the dormancy and promotes the seed to develop into plant. Now the next is it stimulate it stimulate enzyme production mainly alpha amylase in germinating cereal grains. The next function is it delay senescence in leaves and citrus fruits. Now the next is it induces maleness in dioecious Plants. Next is it causes parthenocarpic 
that is seedless fruits development and the next important function of this is it stimulate bolting effect this is the important function of gibberellic acid bolting effect is as it induces cell elongation but genetically genetically dwarf plants even elongated as tall as they are but they get elongated but genetically they remains short only due to the effect of gibberellic acid cell elongate but genetically it does not elongate the this is the bolting effect now this is all about the gibberellin now the next hormone is that is fourth one is ethylene the common formula for ethylene is ch2 double bond ch2 or we can also say c2h this is the only hormone which is present in gaseous form that is it is a gaseous plant hormone next ethylene is a colorless flammable gas with sweet and musty odor when pure it is an important hormone which is used in agriculture for ripening fruits so it's the most important function of ethylene is as it induces the ripening effect now we can see the functions of ethylene if we study the function of the first most important is it stimulates the stimulate the release of dormancy second is it stimulate shoot and root growth and differentiation this is also called triple response now the third one is it stimulate leaf and fruit abscission now the next function is it also induces seed germination fifth one is as it stimulate we have already discussed this stimulate fruit ripening the example of fruit ripening we can discuss is as we in biotechnology we develop a flavor flavor savor tomatoes which do not get spoiled as to by technology we introduce a gene into it so they cannot easily get spoiled during transportation so in the flavor side of tomato tomatoes fruit ripening can be induced with the help of ethylene the, the next example the function is it induces female nest in dioecious plants this is all about the functions and 
the hormone thyroid. Next is the last hormone is we will discuss is abscessic acid. The short form of this is A B A. Abscessic acid is also known as epsine epsine second or dormin its function mainly in plant development process it also induce bud dormancy ABA is mostly involved in abscission. The main function of ABA is the abscission. And what is abscission? Abscission is shedding of plant part. It can be leaf fruit anything in the greek word abscission means to cut or to get away haberland was the scientist haberland was the scientist who first reported the did the aba in the cotton balls and potato Tubers. In these plants, in the cotton balls and potato tubers, this causes growth inhibition. If we see the diagram of the obsession ABA, then it is in the, this form, the cyclic manner. This is the diagram of Abscessic acid. This is the structure of ABE. Now, we will discuss some of the functions of abscessic acid. First, it as it is an inhibitory hormone. It inhibits fruit ripening. Next function is it act as a anti transparent that is it induces stomata closure which in turn decreases the rate of transpiration to prevent water loss so that water vapor water in the form of vapor cannot be escaped from the leaves and the wilting can be inhibited now the next is it stimulate closure of closure of stomata as we have already discussed in the last point that it acts as an anti-transparent. The next is it induces seed to synthesize storage protein. Now the next function is it inhibits shoot growth but not much effect on root growth. ABA act against oxen that is it 
inhibits growth AP is formed from amino acid to fat. This is all about the functions of abscessive acid structure and some facts about it. Thank you.